Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to create a t variable into t-scores. Uh, now, t-scores, to refresh your memory, are scores that have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. Uh, these can be contrasted with z-scores, which have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So why would somebody want to have a variable that has a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 rather than z-scores? Well, in some cases, you don't want to deal with negative numbers. So by pushing your z-scores into t-scores, or transforming them, you no longer deal with um, negative numbers, uh, unless you had an enormous sample size that... Um, you would get you know some negative values, but it would be a very large sample size. Um, and the other reason is sometimes you want to multiply your variable with another variable, or you want to uh, divide it by another variable, and, and val values that get very close to zero, they don't have the same meaning anymore, and you just want to have a, a linear transformation. And you want a, a metric that, uh, there, that there's some kind of um, linearity associated with low scores to high scores, whereas when you're using these as ratios, it does, no longer works that way. Uh, anyway, uh, this variable here is the one that I want to change into a t-score, and it looks like it's uh, it might be z-scores already, and it's not. It's actually a combination. It's an added combination of three z-scores together. And um, you might be thinking, well, wouldn't that still have the z-score properties? And it doesn't. It has the mean of zero, but it no longer has the standard deviation of one. So when you add z-scores together and then take the average of that, uh, it's no longer a z-score. It's it's close, but it's not. Uh, and I think the differences will be uh, greater or lesser depending on the correlations between the variables that you're adding. Uh, anyway, I want to. So the first step in creating t-scores is to make sure that your variable or variables are are z-scores. So I'm going to create z-scores, or I'm going to create this variable into z-scores. I'll just take that out from the previous video. And I'm going to put my body size z composite variable into the box. And I've got saved standardized values as variables, which creates my z-score. And now it's going to be called zz. Uh, it's called it, um, let's see here, what has it called it? Body size z composite? Oh, yeah, z body size z composite. It's a little bit of a tongue uh, twister there. Uh, so here's my new variable that's been standardized with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So that's z-score. That's the first step. The next step is to transform this into t-scores. And to do that, I'm going to call it body size. I need to go into compute variable body size t scores. And I'll take that out. Now, the first thing that I do, and I find it the easiest to remember, is that you want to add the 50, the value of 50, which is the mean for everybody. So, uh, oh, I mean, it's the everyone's going to have an extra 50 added to their score because the mean is going to change from 0, z-score, to 50, t-score. Now, the next thing is the standard deviation, uh, which you're going to want to multiply by 10. Uh, I, so 10 is the standard deviation for t-score, so you input that into the um, parentheses because you're going to multiply it by your uh, z-score value, the actual values. All right, so you want 10 multiplied by the z-scores, which is going to change that into 10 because the, z the standard deviation is 1, so it's going to push it into 10. Uh, and you add the 50 in this component, this element here. So 50 plus uh, t 10 times your z-score variable, which is the variable that you want to convert into t-scores. So click OK. So I got my body size t-scores. Now let's verify that this has a mean of uh, 50 and a standard deviation of 10. Body size t-scores, statistics, mean, standard deviation, yep. Click OK. All right, and so a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And here I've got my histogram. And you can see the values, less, the lowest value is 28, something like that. It's, uh, it's between 20 and 30. Mean of 50, standard deviation of 10, sample size of 100. Uh, so I've gotten rid of my negative values, and, and I've got my t-scores now. Uh, so that's how you create t-scores in SPSS, or it's one way to create t-scores in SPSS. Thanks for listening.